Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Scarbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, today I'd like to do the um, numerology and Kabbalah of somebody who's in the news right now quite prominently, and that would be the representative from uh, Minnesota, Ilham Omar, Ilhan, Ilhan, sorry, Ilhan uh, Omar. And uh, she is the representative, let's see, uh, for Minnesota's 5th District. Uh, she assumed office on January 3rd, 2019. So she was, uh, she is one of, I believe, two uh, women um, who are uh, Muslim in the House of Representatives. I think uh, Talib Rashid, I think is her name, uh, out of Michigan is, um, is the other one. Um, Ilhan is a Somali refugee. She came to America uh, as a young child, um, and uh, she is um, she was a, she was elected to the Minnesota House of Representatives in two thousand and sixteen on the Democratic Farm Labor Party line, making her the first Somali American elected to legislative office in the United States. She was also the first naturalized citizen from Africa and the first Somali American elected to the United States Congress, along with Rashida Tlaib. Yes, she was uh, one of the first two Muslim women elected to Congress um, and the first minority woman to serve as a U.S. representative from Minnesota. Um, she is a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Um, Omar advocates for a living wage, affordable housing and health care, student loan debt forgiveness, the, protect, the protection of the deferred action for childhood arrivals, the abolition of ICE. She has strongly opposed the immigration policies of the Trump administration, including Trump's travel ban. Omar also has been outspoken on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, Israeli settlement policy, military campaigns and the pro-Israel lobbying by organizations such as APAC. So that is the main thing that she's getting in trouble for now is comments that she made about APAC. And uh, the comments were deemed as anti-Semitic. And, um, and there was a big hullabaloo. And so, um, and now she's been targeted, of course, by the right wing with these crazy uh, posters and and such and and uh, it's it's like you you expect it to happen which is ridiculous um so I thought we would take a look at her and uh, I actually listened to what she was saying about APAC and she was talking about she wasn't talking about Jews per se per se uh, she didn't really say anything anti-semitic she was talking about um, lobbying Okay, and she's a progressive, so this is a this is a thing for progressives, you know, get money out of politics kind of thing. So this is sort of what she was talking about, and she has not backed down um, one bit. Um, she is definitely somebody who speaks her mind, and we're going to see why. Okay, so let's look at let's look at Elon. Um, so Il Ilhan, sorry, <laughs> so bad. Um, her her full name is Ilhan Abdul Abdullahi. Omar. And um, if we look at her soul vibration and her outer personality vibration, what's interesting is she's a double four. Okay, I don't think you can see that. Hold on, let me pull this over a little bit further. There we go. So her soul vibration is a four, her outer personality vibration is a four. So to a certain extent, um, you know, she is as. Uh, there's there's a similarity in energy between the inside and outside of her. Um, her inner self, the soul vibration, the inner feminine is a 31-4 vibration, which is actually a fire vibration. And uh, her outer personality vibration is a 49 over 4, which is a water vibration. And so she has fire and water. And fire and water are, um, they sort of, Fire and water deals with our uh, our feeling nature, okay? 
And so uh, when you have fire and water in your chart, you are going through a spiritual initiation of, in, of some manner. Now I'm going to show you the cards associated with these two uh, vibrations as soon as I can um, pull it out of the deck here. I probably should have had this ready. So as a soul, as a four soul, the 31-4 vibration is associated with the five of wands. And the, in the five of wands, we have a group of people uh, with their wands and they're all sort of uh, fighting. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the vibration. So this is a very fiery vibration. This vibration can tend towards anger. It is fire. It's actually a Leo vibration. And it's found on the tree of life right here in Gabura. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me, let me try to uh, move that so you can see that particular part of it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here we have her soul vibration in Gabor, 31 over 4. Gabor is associated with the planet Mars. And uh, she has her Mars in her astrological chart. And I don't have a time of birth for her. So I only can, I, I've done a noon chart. Uh, which I do for a lot of people that don't have time of birth for, because you can see quite a bit uh, about the person just by looking at the noon chart. And she has her Mars at 20 degrees, uh, 20 degrees, three minutes of Leo. Okay. And as most people who know Leos know that this is somebody who's not going to um, stop saying not she's going to self-express and not only is she going to self-express because the energy uh, is located in Gabura, which is part of the energy of the throat chakra um, she's going to ex self-express because leo is the energy of self-expression and with self-expression she brings a lot of force behind that because we're dealing with mars so there's a lot of force here now, the thing with Kabura is that it is the place of instant karma. And so she does and she will get blowback. Now, if in fact it, what she says is said in with the intention of harming, then she's going to get harmed herself because that's the way uh, Gabor works. It's the place of instant karma. But the other thing about Gabor is when you have a number in Gabor, you tend to point out what is wrong, okay? You tend to be the one that says the hard thing. And most people don't like that, especially when you're, you're, you're speaking a truth. And so people, of course, will try to change things around. So that's just her, that's her inner soul. And you, you need to always stay in good relationship with your soul vibration in order to stay healthy. And so this is part of her, she has a, a, an internal need to, to be aligned with that. Um, four is the number of crisis. So this is a woman who knows what crisis is. She knows how to deal with crisis, but four is also the number of the builder. So she's really here to build something. Okay, she's here to build a strong foundation. Okay, and as a progressive, you know, progressives are really looking to restructure the way the country is run. Um, you know, more of grassroots from the ground up, right? As opposed to oligarchs and and corporate, you know, corporate people and you know the one percent, you know, controlling everything. So she comes from that place uh, on the soul. Okay, so her quiescent, which is the 40, 49 over 4 vibration, is actually a Pisces vibration, and it's connected with this vibration. Uh, this is the Nine of Cups, which is the uh, wish card. Okay, the Nine of Cups um, is, as a Pisces vibration, it's very important to keep your boundaries uh, four is about boundaries and this is located on the tree of life right here in uh, Yisad Yisad is uh, Yisad the word Yisad means foundation okay and this is connected to the moon now she has her moon in um, Sagittarius it, now I don't have an exact time of when she was born um, but I do know that her moon is in Sagittarius and, uh, it is, and it can be, it's possible that it's in a close conjunction with Neptune in Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius is the truth seeker. Okay, Neptune, I'm not sure if it's conjunct or not or how close it is, but Neptune can create some confusion. And uh, I think it's easier to misconstrue um, her feelings about things. But she definitely is a truth seeker. Um, in her noon chart, she has the sun conjunct Saturn in the ninth house. Now, that's a noon chart, so that may not be accurate, but there's still that... When you're dealing with uh, a person who's in the public eye, a noon chart is as good as any chart to see the influence she has in the public. So she is somebody who wants to get down to the truth and is calling people to task, Saturn, because Saturn is the taskmaster. So we have that. Plus, she's got her son and Saturn in Libra. Now, the sun in Libra is not a great position for the sun because Libra is about um, relationship. And we tend to uh, have to um, sort of not be so out there with the Libra sun, right? We, we tend to want to get along and, and work, right? But she has Saturn there. And it's Saturn that you feel with her. It's like she's going to tell you and show you what's what, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, she's going to use facts. She's going to She's going to point out. Uh, where people are not being fair because Saturn in Libra wants to be fair. Okay. So she has all of this in her chart. Okay. Uh, so if we add these two vibrations together, right, we get an 80 vibration, eight over zero. And um, the type of numerology that I utilize, let's see if we can just do it this way so you can see it. There's the eight over zero, 80. Um, I only go up to 78 because I use the tarot cards. And so we have to we have to bring this down to a, to an 8 vibration. And the 8 vibration is the strength card. Now, the expression is how she f keeps balance between her inner and outer self. How she keeps those two crisis producing and crisis uh, managing um, force is that she brings it in balance through the eight vibration and the eight vibration is the strength card and the eight vibration on the tree of life is located on the path between Gabura and Hesed right here her expression and so this is somebody who has to speak her truth now that being said there is a challenge here for her now I want to say that she is young and she is, you know, somewhat brash, and I and I admire her for that actually. Um, but she can sometimes get carried away, and perhaps get a little bit too idealistic. And I'll show you where that sits in her chart if I can find the strength card. I just I like to put the cards up, even though you probably know what the strength card looks like. It's the one where the woman's holding the lion, like holding the mouth in some decks open and some days decks closed. The strength card really is about uh, using your higher faculties to uh, tame your lower nature, right? And so it takes strength. Here we go. There's the strength card. That's her expression. And it sits right here in her throat chakra. Okay. Now, she also has her shadow vibration in her throat chakra. We get the shadow, and here we have it. It's in Hesed. Hesed is associated with the planet Jupiter. She has Jupiter in Libra conjunct Pluto in Libra. And so when you have Jupiter and Pluto, there's a lot of force there. And so on a certain level, she has to learn how to balance what she says. She has to modulate to a certain extent. Now what's interesting about the and, and the vibration where she has her shadow is a 30 over 3. Okay, We get that by adding her name Ilhan uh, with the 4 of her day of birth. 30 over 3 is often a vibration where uh, you have to learn how to say no. Right? Uh, you're too nice. Okay? Now uh, I'm not saying that she's nice. Not nice. Um, but um, Anytime you're dealing with Jupiter, you're dealing with maybe too much of something. And so because Jupiter is conjunct Pluto in her chart, 
that Jupiter energy, social justice is just so it's like soul deep for her. Okay. And so she has to kind of learn how to say it in such a way um, that uh, she's not overpowering the message. Now, I've heard her speak, and it's not really, I don't feel like she's saying it in, in a wrong way. I don't think she's saying it with vitriol in her voice or anything like that. She's just stating the facts. Uh, but people are going to react to that. People are going to respond to that because of the, the, the power within her, within her voice. And so she has to understand that there's, she has great power. This is the card associated with the 30 over three vibration. Um, so, so this, is, uh, a very interesting. Um, so if I were to say anything to her, I, I, I might say what I just said to you, although I personally don't have an issue with it, um, I could see how some people might. Um, all right, so let's talk about her path of life. So her path of life is uh, a 33 over 6, and we get that by adding her birthday. Her birthday is October 4th, 1981, uh, which makes her path of, life, path of life, as I said, a 33 over 6. And so, first of all, it's a master number. 33 is a master number. Uh, master of, uh, it's, it's the number of Christ consciousness, okay? Uh, it is located in, um, right here in Netzach, right here, the blue, the, um, the blue, the green circle. Netzach is associated with the planet Venus, okay? Netzach deals with our desires. Uh, Netzach deals with... It's a very emotional place. The 33 over 6 is a vibration. The 6 vibration is about responsibility and being responsible. Um, learning how to respond to things. Now, your life lesson is often something that you're not necessarily good at. You, get, you learn the lessons of that vibration. This is the vibration right here. And so we know with this um, seven of wands, that she does have the higher ground. She does have the perspective, but she is going to be challenged. Part of this is, um, this is located in her solar plexus. Your solar plexus is your personal will. And so she's learning how to master that part of herself. And it takes a, a, a good sense of who you are, okay? Uh, it takes a healthy sense of self-worth and self-esteem. The 33 over 6 can oftentimes uh, see the potential in other people and try to push them to their potential, um, which can make them um, a little um, challenging to people. So they'll push. There's a lot of force. Netzach has a lot of force. Netzach is actually the place in the tree of life that's associated with uh, the forces of nature, like weather and hurricanes and tornadoes. And, and so there's that energy there. So she has it. And she's, again, learning how to modulate that, that energy. Now, what do I want to say about her, her chart, her astrological chart? Uh, is I want to talk a little bit about her nodes and I and I didn't actually I didn't say this was an astrology but I have her chart in front of me you might as well utilize it. She has her North Node in Cancer and her South Node in Capricorn. When you have your South Node in Capricorn, you're used to being in charge, okay? And so when you have your North Node in Cancer, you're learning about sensitivity. Okay, so here's somebody who sees it and says it as she sees it. But part of her journey in this lifetime is to learn how to interact on a more sort of emotional and sensitive level. I'm not saying that she's not sensitive. I'm saying she has to learn how to sort of work on that level. And what's interesting now is that her, the North Node is in Cancer and the South Node is in Capricorn. So she's having or she has had her nodal return which happens every 19 years for you. So she is in alignment, right, with what she's come here to learn and what she's come here to uh, to learn about. Now, her south node is conjunct the Pluto of uh, the United States of America. 
And so she has an understanding, an innate understanding of things, of the, the power struggles and the power um, dynamics of the country. So she, she has a bead on where we abuse power because that's what Pluto and Capricorn can be. And as we are approaching our Pluto return in this country, uh, we are seeing the shadow. And so she'll bring up the shadow to a certain extent, which is a dangerous place to be. So I hope that uh, as much as I like what she has to say, I really hope she's being careful uh, because she is becoming a target. It uh, wasn't, you know, if all she needed to really do was wear the hijab to be a target, but now she's actually, how dare she speak out, right? Um, so <laughs> I like her a lot. <laughs> all right, so let's see what else I want to talk about. Just a couple more things. Um, right now, she is, uh, how old is she? She's born 1981. So she's 37 years old right now. On the, uh, on the, the Divine Triangle, that is along this line right here. Okay, this is age 36 to age 45. So 14 over 5 vibration, Sagittarius vibration. She has her moon and Neptune and Sagittarius, okay? That is right here on the tree of life, uh, right up the center. It is the path of transformation. It's the path of the mystic. She is connecting um, her lower self to her higher self here. Now, this is the path of temperance. And it's associated with Sagittarius. And of course, Sagittari uh, Jupiter's in Sagittarius right now. And so Jupiter is activating that path in her. It also activates her shadow somewhat. And so she does need to learn how to modulate how she says things. I think uh, it's important that they're said. Um, and I think she needs, uh, personally, I think she needs to, I don't want to say tone it down. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't want to really say tone it down, but for her own safety, I think it's important, um, more than just for, um, we need to hear it for sure. Um, but she can't, I don't think she can be the total face of it, if you know what I mean. And I'm looking for the temperance card. So she is, when you're in a temperance period, and she's in a nine-year temperance period, and this is the base of her power square. So this is very important time for her, but it is very precarious. You cannot get caught up in extremes when you're on the, the path of temperance, okay? It's, a, it's the knife edge, really, and there's the temperance card, and it is a spiritual initiation. Her power square is the 20 over 2 vibration, which is right here on the Tree of Life. It is associated with Pluto, the planet Pluto. This is the awakened soul, okay? And it is the judgment card. So on a certain level, her, one of her functions is to wake us up to the truth. So most truth speakers of truth are not liked. <laughs> so let's put some white light around her. She is really doing this from the right place. Um, and she's sort of here to do this for us. She's, she's, she's showing us the way she's a way shower, like many of these young, brave, courageous women who are standing up. It's a beautiful thing to see. Um, so that's what I want to say about Ilhan, <laughs> I said it right. Okay. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, if you would like this type of reading for yourself, I do do this for people who aren't in the public eye. Um, and I have had a number of, of people who, who watch me who have had it done and have really enjoyed it. So um, you just contact me. You can say something below. Contact me uh, at my website, the siege of transformation.com, or you can just email me. I think that information is on my, uh, YouTube channel where you can get a hold of me. Have a great day. And, uh, I'll see you again. If you have somebody else that you want me to look at, I will. I did get a request uh, about a month and a half ago. I think it was to do Macron and, uh, I do want to do him. It's just, you know, with everybody running, 
for president, um, I, I have to catch up. So hopefully I can get that done this week. So whoever that was, no names being mentioned, um, I will get to that. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.